everyone. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Hangout podcast. I've got an amazing, amazing host um, with you today, and you guys are going to learn some really awesome stuff. Colleen, please, please, please introduce yourself. Oh, Kylie, thanks so much. I'm it's so, so honored to be here. I loved our conversations that we've had thus far. We have so much in common. So I know today everyone's going to want to stick around for the nuggets we're about to give them in kind of that raw reel of, you know, why we're staying stuck. And so people know a little bit about me. Um, I'm 5'2", 110 pounds. Just kidding. We're not going to get into that. But um, just to share, I was in corporate America for three decades. And uh, that is where I honed my skill sets as a business coach. I've launched over 340 businesses um, in total in my 22 years of coaching. I've been an entrepreneur for four years. Um, I've launched three businesses since becoming an entrepreneur. Uh, one is a community, very, very successful. Uh, another one is my coaching program um, and a mastermind. So I serve women and I do that because I find that women really need that additional assistance in building their self-esteem, their confidence, the belief in themselves, and also convincing themselves that it's okay to take care of themselves and put the mask on first, step out in front and shout from the mountaintops about how awesome they are, what a badass they are, and for them to realize also um, that they have something to share with the world that's going to impact others. Yeah, you know the thing too. I, I, I work primarily with women. Um, I've just launched and and re gave some birth to my business in a box idea, which is really to help people get out of the minimum wage hellhole, right? Yeah. So that will obviously be not necessarily just women, but as a female entrepreneur, it's I, I feel that women you know, they can also serve a higher purpose when, yeah. when women are awesome in the sense that they want to give referrals. When you've got a great hairdresser, you want to support that hairdresser, right? You want to like mm -hmm. go share everybody. Hey, this is my hairdresser. and She's awesome. Or whatever it could be, it could be a babysitter. It could be whatever. Yeah. So we're very big advocates and we love to spread the word and we love to really actually make an impact. Yeah, we're big time connectors. Almost every yeah. single one of us are. And I know coming from corporate America in that world, if you're in that world now, then you're going to know that or have been in that world. It was really tough for women. And it was very male dominated because males are the ones who started every industry <laughs> that exists today. And we have to remember that there seem to be a lot of competition um, in that arena. There doesn't have mm -hmm. to be as an entrepreneur, as a female. So I believe in collaboration over competition every day. So competition can never be your excuse for why you believe that your business isn't doing well because right. some other competitor's doing it better. That's just an excuse. <laughs> I tell you what, I have a saying, and it's been my saying forever. There's always, and I don't care. I mean, I, I said this in my 20s, okay? So, and this is really, really important. There's always going to be bigger, better, prettier, tighter butt, bigger boobs, better hair, richer. There's mm -hmm. always going to be it, right? Yeah. So if you're, if you're thinking, well, once I get there, then I'll do it, you're never going to do it. No. You have to start before you're ready, and that's really the bottom ground of this, you know? Um there, I, I find that women and Kylie, the best way for me to explain it is I find that they do, um, you know, ready, aim, ready, aim, ready, yes. aim, and they never fire. Right. I teach ready, fire, aim, Ditto. which is another, yeah, yeah, high five to that, yep. which gets you out of your way. It forces you to aim, I mean, to fire and then figure out your aim afterwards, which yep. usually isn't much of change. You were just afraid to get it out there, right? imposter syndrome, whatever that might be. But then once you break through that and you fire, you realize how much easier it is on the other side. So many women stay in aim, which is the stuck part. Um, I tend to sometimes fire, <laughs> then ready, and then aim yeah, because I move too, so quick too. on decisions. Yeah. But I do that because when I feel good about something and I trust myself and I know what my gut is telling me, I just say yes to it and figure it out later. Right. And it's okay to do that sometimes because I also agree that 
the fastest path to wealth is speed. And so we need to be making quick decisions. You can literally keep yourself in the quicksand if you're waiting for your website to be just right. If you're waiting for, you know, I built my businesses, one, two of my businesses with zero website. In fact, one of them still has no website and it's a six figure business. So right. it's a conversation then it's an invoice that's sent and then that's it there's i send emails that has all the information and documents that i create there's no online anything you can go look at or sign up because it's by invitation only and i don't want anyone registering for something right, right. yeah plus plus you also want to make sure um that calling that it's a good fit you know oh, you yeah. and i at our age, whatever that age might be, but even at our age in our business, right? At our maturity in our business, we don't want to work with just everybody. Mm -mm. Life is too short, right? Mm -hmm. So it's almost always by invitation only. And I know you are the same way, which is I give a lot of myself. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know when to stop. I, I just don't, you know, my, um, this is funny. My, my stepdaughter, she's probably not going to be listening to this podcast so I can use this story. She is a phenomenal, phenomenal, natural, um, 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 makeup artist, right? She doesn't have a license. And I'm like, Hey, Brittany, we can do Brittany just beauty, right? I'll help you do it, man. I'll help you coach that. You don't need a license, honey. Let's just do it. And pretty soon I'm like, Oh my gosh. Okay, Brittany, you got to tell me to pull the plug because I just can't. I can't. I'm like, I'll never shut the lights off. Mm -hmm. I'll always just like mouth to mouth resuscitation, man. I'll keep it going. Yeah. And they got to want to do it. Oh, I'm glad you said that because I call that bless and release. So we're going to have a lot of people cross our paths that are going to suck and suck and suck <laughs> your energy forever in fact you want to help them so bad because you know you can like you believe yep. if i could get this person to say yes and actually activate mm -hmm. and want to do it i could totally change their world around the problem is they don't want to do it and yes. if they don't want to do it or if you're listening right now and you're like i'm that person i don't want to do something then you need to come clean with that and just say right. i don't want to build a business or i don't want to do that i don't want mm -hmm. to get a job i want to work for myself be very clear and honest and a lot of people say i can't that means i won't so right. just say it be free right. and say what you want to say and stop making up what you think other people want to hear it's easier for us as coaches to be able to bless and release you because then the energy that you were worried about and right. the energy i was worried about all the sucking of energy that was happening doesn't need to exist anymore you either right. activate and you're in or you're not and it's that simple you're right. you're not one or the you're you're not both you can't be and it wastes a lot of energy. You know, I was listening to a podcast, uh, Amy Porterfield's podcast, and she had an awesome, awesome guest on about PR work and stuff. And you know what it is too? It's like, just simply say no. If it's not for mm -hmm. you, just say no. But you know what? You have to stand up and believe in something for yourself and then say it. If you don't like chocolate ice cream, say it. Don't say, oh yeah, chocolate would be fine, right? No, I would yeah. prefer vanilla or whatever. And so, and, and, and it is, and I, I want to talk about something. This is kind of interesting since we both really do work a lot with females yeah. at the same time, it's a lot more work working with females. I think it's very rewarding, but it's more work because of that, that personality. I'm going to say that, you know, the, the, god gave us as being nurturers we always want to put people first and and so that that then causes a little problem which is do you really want to work on your business yeah i'll share a statistic real quick with you that some of your listeners might not know and this was something that i trained on for a while which was um men will apply for a position uh, or start a business if they believe they are 15 percent qualified and they will charge more for their services or ask for more money um, um, and be extremely confident they're going to get it. And then 
we have the female who won't apply for a position or start a business unless she's 80 to 85%, 80. The man was 15, remember, 80% qualified to do the job. And then on top of that, we'll be happy with whatever pay she receives for it. And for a female entrepreneur, we'll charge less than what she's worth for her experience yep. and her wisdom. Yep. What, I mean, just think about that. What a huge gap, everyone. What a huge gap. Well, that's the gap right there that everyone's talking about. That's the gap. But I don't think that women, I realize this. I don't think women realize that part of the problem in the gap is us. Yeah. We blame it on everybody else. Right. But let's all look in the mirror and say, I'm going to change that gap. That's why I started a community. It's why I do what I do. It's why you do what you do, Kylie. We empower women to change the gap. The only way it will ever change to where women and men will be equal in the workplace is if we step up to that equality in the workplace. We make the decisions that we make to take our children to, to school, to take them mm -hmm. to the doctors when they're sick, to stay home with them, to sacrifice our careers. I've done this and I've yeah. always had a career, but I was the main caregiver for my kids. So sure. that passed me up on promotions when they wanted someone that could be a thousand percent devoted. And I couldn't be because I had kids or couldn't travel. Right. Well, I couldn't take a certain position if I needed to travel. So I just want everyone to hear that. I'm mm -hmm. not making excuses. I'm doing exactly the opposite. So if you hear me making excuses, I want you to look in the mirror and check <laughs> yourself check. because I'm not making excuses. Trust me when I tell you, I know every choice I've ever made in corporate America was mine. Any ramifications mm -hmm. that came with that with my, was mine. Any recommendations or any you know successes I had were all mine. Any choices I make in my business are mine. And we need to take res full responsibility. If you're stuck right now, why are you stuck? What right. choice have you made that's keeping you there? Yeah, you know, I want to find, Colleen, in your opinion, like just looking at your women in your coaching program and your community, do you think it's still a mindset thing? So do you think in order, like, okay, in order to have, I, I am all about healthy mind, healthy, healthy body, healthy business, you know? I really honestly think that they're all tied together. Mm -hmm. But I don't, you know, when somebody says, oh, I need a whole mind shift, you know, a whole mindset shift. And then, you know, there are mindset coaches, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I don't necessarily have the patience for that. I don't. I'll, I'll just, I'm just going to tell it like automatically because, you know, I'm like tough love kind of person. But in your group, do you still find that women are having, it's still a mindset problem? Yeah. You know, I heard something yesterday and it's a thousand percent right. And I really do believe we control our actions. We control our thoughts. We control anything that happens in our lives. And it all starts with what we think. Number one, go all the way back to the book, Think and Grow Rich. You have a thought. You... I did it. I had a thought. I want to create a community. I want to call it Lead Up for Women. I created a community. I had a thought of what it would look like. I created it. It did not exist. Everything exists around us because of this thought first. So mm -hmm. if those thoughts are negative, those thoughts are um, not enticing for your success, then it's going to keep you held back because you really, truly, to your core, do not believe. So I, right. I heard something yesterday I wanted to share and it was Steve Harvey and I, out of the blue, I just heard him say something on a video, I think on YouTube. And he couldn't have said it better than just these few words. Whatever comes out of your mouth is what you're gonna get. That's right. He said, I'm not, I'm not pretty enough, you'll never be. Right. I'm not rich enough, you'll never be. Right. I'm, I'll never be rich. He said, you probably won't. And then he said, I, w I will be rich. You have a good possibility of being rich. I will, you know, create this business to success. Real good possibility you're going to make that happen. So we need to pay attention to the words that come out of our mouth. Yeah. 
And I used to do that with being clumsy. I said it all the time because I was told I was clumsy as a kid. So as I grew up, yes. I would knock everything over. I would right. always say, I'm so clumsy. I'm so clumsy. I'm so clumsy. Someone called me on it one day. Someone uh -huh. called me on it one day and they're like, why do you tell yourself you're clumsy all the time? I was like, because I knock everything over. They said, do you think you knock everything over because you say you're clumsy? I was like, whoa, hey, wait, I never connected that, right? Yeah. That was yeah. kind of the start of my personal development. All of a sudden, I kept saying to myself, and I got an accountability partner, which was my husband, I'm not clumsy. I don't knock things over. I'm not clumsy. I don't knock things over. Ask me now if I knock anything over if I'm clumsy. The answer is no. Right. We literally right. create what it is that we say we want and do. So think of how powerful that is. It's called the law of attraction. Whether you buy into it or not, it right. doesn't matter. It's the law. Yes. You know, my <laughs> husband loves this part because I always say, honey, you speak about what you bring about. It's exactly you know? it. And he's like, I don't believe in that. And I'm like, yeah, but I do. And that is true. That is true. Man, you know, people want to say, oh, you know, positive affirmations are so, you know, um, generic and they're you know so immature and whatever no 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 okay. just because for example i'm not saying all men don't have positive affirmations but mine are freaking stuck everywhere hey everyone if you're enjoying the entrepreneurs hangout podcast please like love subscribe and share me don't forget to hit the notification buttons bye for now i believe it I'm glad you said that, Kylie, because uh, I was just doing a book club and one of the books we read recently was The Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. Okay. And he asked this question. So you think that everything I'm talking about in here is a bunch of garbage. So let me just use that example. So you think mantras and positive mm -hmm. affirmations are garbage. Well, what have you been doing up to this point and how well is it working <laughs> for you? I'm just, I'm just yep. gonna ask the question, how yeah. well has it been working for you that you're so quick to put down what other people are doing that are working for them? You're right. so fast to put it down. I suggest you look at, if you're looking to change some things because your life isn't exactly what you want it to be, you might want to humble yourself a little bit. Yes. I, use, I use this phrase that says, <laughs> if learning is beneath you, then leadership is beyond you. You will never be a good leader if you are not willing to be a student. And right. we need to learn at every stage in our life. And I learn all the time as a coach from other coaches and from yeah. things that they say constantly. And I see that as a value. And people say, oh, well, why, why do you see that as a value? Because I pass that on to my clients and say, right. I applied this. I learned this. I applied it. It worked in my life. It'll work for you. Let's go. Practical work. Practical yeah. guidance. Exactly. Yeah. You know, um, I think that our groups, um, you know, are, are so powerful. Both you and I, I've got the entrepreneurs hangout and you have two groups now, right? Because you've just converted. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we have the Lead Up for Women community that I built over the last few years. And um, I've added a component um, now that we're launching on March 1st, which is oh, called great. the Leap Community. And the Leap Community is another community, um, a layer of community that, that will be the only community operating moving forward from March 1st. Okay. And so that's the community we're running where I'm all about being seen, being heard, and being visible, right? No excuses, get your clarity on your brand, get out there, tell everybody about you. That was the number one rule I had with the 340 businesses I opened, which was you have to tell everyone about you. How do you do that? You do that mm -hmm. through blogs, you do that through podcast interviews, you do that through speaking opportunities, you do that through teaching masterclasses, you do that through, um, you know, uh, being on a platform at a networking event and speaking yep. and having five minutes to talk about what you do and, and making an offer. These are what I offer the members of my community to do all of those things, create credibility for them, as well as helps them really build their confidence and self-esteem and connect with like-minded women. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, um, and I think it gives them a safe place to also be raw and real. You know, um, I know 
in my entrepreneurs hangout, it is certainly, it's an open group. So it's both male, female, um, businesses, solopreneurs, um, you know, and sometimes, you know, a a whole wide uh, spread of different people. But when you've got something, for example, group coaching and or a closed community that's only invite only, you know who you want in there and you know that you want to build that safe community. Yes, absolutely. Here's what um, I know what happens. So for anyone out there thinking, well, I wouldn't know how to build a community. I don't even know what to do to start. Well, uh, by the way, I didn't have a community coming out of corporate America and they don't teach you how to build community in corporate America. I'm just going to tell you that right now. (laughs) And Kylie didn't know either, right? It just organically happens. And how it happens is you attract the right people to you that want to be in your circle by the way that you influence others, how you show up, what you talk about, your personality. So here's a little tip for every single one of you. Stop trying to be someone else. I'm sorry, everybody else is taken. There's no one available for you to be. Wake up every day with the freedom and the happiness to say, I'm just going to be me today, all day, every day, and everything I say, bring the confidence with that because you should be confident in being you. You're the only you that's ever been. You're the only you that will ever be, by the way. So embrace it and be excited about that. You know, um, I think that that's so important. So now I've been very intentful um, about uh, my marketing messages for 2022. Right. And so of course, you know, everybody, I think that this is really, really on target that in one month, your new group is going to launch and I can't wait to follow you and be part of it. This is going to be awesome. So January, you know, we all make goals. We have our vision boards. We, we do all of our stuff and I love all of that. I love action. I love, Hey, let's put it on paper. Let's get real. But for me, my February is talking about implementation, Mm -hmm. implementation. So if you had to say, you know, implementation on, it could be your plan. It could be what you teach, whatever it might be. What do you think are the three top things for implementation at getting what you want? You know, A is to implement. I'm just going to step into that arena (laughs) right now. You can have every idea in the world. You can be in what I call movement. Movement is gathering information. They're moving toward what they want to do. I want to open a community. I want to be a coach. I want to open my own business. They're just gathering some information online, but you're not acting on anything. You're not filing an LLC. You're not actually taking action to open up a business bank account, get an EIN number. You're not building a website. You're not getting a Facebook going for yourself and telling people I'm a coach and I'm right. That right Right. there, action is the number Mm -hmm. one thing that has to happen for any implementation. And I see it over and over and over again, the excuses of, oh my gosh, this is what I did last week. This is what I'm going to do this week. And it's like nothing that you actually said that you're going to do is going to move the needle or move you forward. So we, that's just movement. Movement is not the same as action. Action are doing the things that are going to bring a return of investment of what you're putting out there. So I like the women that I work with, when they have an event or they're talking about doing a workshop or anything, the first thing I say is, tell me when the date is and how long are you going to do it? And they're like, oh, oh, I I don't, I have no idea. Oh, well, we're going to pick a date right now. So let's pick a date. Let's get it out there. Let's start promoting it. They're like, but I don't even know what type of workshop I want to do. I'm like, okay, well then let's create a title. Let's talk about what it is that you do. What workshop is the best one? Right. Get in action. That will help you create so much more confidence and self-esteem when you are moving. And the law of attraction works this way. The minute that you put something out there, the law of attraction starts moving everything towards you because now it's extremely clear on what you want. When you are unclear, meaning you walk into a sub shop and you say, I'll take a sub, the guy or girl on the other side of the counter looks at you and goes, awesome, what kind? Yeah, what do you want on it? So when you say, I want to start a business, but you're not clear about the type of business, how you want to operate your business in person, is it going to be brick and mortar, is it going to be online? 
the the universe can't deliver when it's unclear right. of what you're asking for. And I know people don't believe, but the law is the law. And that's how the law of attraction works. I mean, yeah. there wouldn't have been movies, books, everything <laughs> that's been created off of it. So right? many other people that talk about it. Let's just be real. Right? Let's just get clear right. on right. what it is that you're doing and set the plan for it. That's right. to me, it's just... I almost see like the way other people do things are so um it's it's unclear to me. It's gonna just it takes say unclear a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's so many steps. I say, you know, find out what it is your goal is, set right. the goal, set the date. Now let's right. work everything backwards. So I clearly know this week what my goal is and what I'm working on right. to get to that bigger goal. But so many people make it so convoluted, you can't follow through on it. So when it comes to success, the biggest determinant is going to be your determination, period. And don't just stop because things didn't go the way that you wanted them to go in the first place. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing forward. Keep persevering because that's what it takes. Yeah. You know what? And this is the thing too. I understand and I empathize. I get it that maybe you don't have all the pieces. So somebody could say, but well, like Kylie, you know, Colleen, I didn't say I, I, I didn't. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do next. That's oh, okay. That's okay. Good question. But you don't have to have it all figured out. Find somebody that can help you. It kills me when I, when I want to have somebody that's like, okay, they want to be coached. They want to have the enroll in one of my coaching programs. And you know, there may be like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. I don't have the money or whatever. If you're not willing to invest in yourself mm -hmm. to find somebody that can help you, you don't want it bad enough. That's true because it's a lie that you don't have the money because if you walked out front and all four of your tires were flat on your car, <laughs> you would go get four new tires. I'm yeah. just saying it's based yeah. on your priority of what yes. you want. So instead of saying, I can't afford it, just tell Kylie, I won't afford it because that's what you're right. saying. I don't right. want this bad enough to pay for it. Correct. And you always have an opportunity on how you can figure out how to do something if you want it bad enough. Think of a time in your life when you did. And if you're going to stay stuck, then you're going to stay there by choice. Right. And I, and I love this saying, you don't know what you know till you know. Right. And when you know, ah. what do you do with the information? So right. never blame yourself because you didn't know something. Right. Find someone who can help you. And sometimes it's not even paid. It's free. Yeah. You can ask no, no, questions. Uh, yes. I was just going to say, I mean, in today's world, um, Colleen, there's just never a way to say, oh, I didn't know or I didn't know how. To, you know, I mean, oh, my God, Google it, Siri. I mean, anything. You can. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff you're right is for free. For free. Oh, yeah. You could probably you know, find you any YouTube video yeah. Yeah, yeah, out there. But most people don't want to go search for the information in a thousand different places. To me, yes. that is not the best use of my time. No, 100%. That's a, a waste of my time. So for me, I'd rather say, are you an expert at this? Awesome. How much, can I, how much does it cost for me to hire you to help me through this? That's why I had an event planner that I hired last year to help me with my event because she it was a expert at doing online events. I had never done one that big that was like me kind of in person, but everyone else yes. was, you know, with Hybrid. a big stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I didn't know how to do that. I hired someone that took care of the whole thing for me. So all I had to do was focus on what content I was gonna release for those three days. That's the beauty of investing in something. And by the way, mm -hmm. I made more money than I invested in her for that event, everybody. So I made money. I It didn't cost me money. Right. Yeah. So I want to wrap this up because I think that this is such a big, powerful point, which is, you know, talking about investing in yourself, investing in your business. You know, there's a lot of noise out there. And you and I know there's loads of competition, right? Mm -hmm. Competition does never, doesn't ever make me worried. Or I never, and, and, and I, I don't even bother by it. And some people can say, oh, but you know, you and Colleen are confident, you know, that's why. But, but I want to do this, talking about um, actually investing in yourself. 
and talk about the ROI. You know what? When you spend money on your business, it needs to be so that you have a clear focus on what do I want in exchange? And that's what you're going to get with a kick-ass, badass coaches like yourself and myself. And yeah. I know that. Yeah. It's the truth. So, um, you know, I'm I'm working with a sales coach right now. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to focus on in 2022, all sales, mm -hmm. differences in sales, things I can do. It's, it's an area that I can sell because obviously I do well in my business, but I know I could learn bit more. I know uh -huh. I could, I didn't go to school for sales. I didn't graduate college for sales. Sales wasn't my number one thing that I did in corporate America that I was trained on. I wanted to learn more. So I have to tell you that the person needs to focus on what is the main thing that you need support with this year or this month or for the next six months, right? Maybe you work with someone for a few months, they help you with whatever you need to get done. It's a marketing plan. Now you know how to do it. You get processes and procedures in place. You move on to the next thing you need to learn. I'm gonna be honest with you, Kylie, and anyone else there can say, Psh, Colleen doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I am one of the hardest workers um, than probably most people in the industry. Yeah. I am very, very self-motivated yep. for success, yep. Yep. okay? Yep. yep. Not everybody is. And if you're yep. not, you need accountability. I was a personal trainer, which means I was very self-motivated in my fitness. I still work out five days a week by myself. I don't need a live class or accountability. If you need it, get it. Yes. If you need accountability and nutritionist, get it. If you need right. accountability in your fitness, get it. If you need accountability in your business, get it. Period. Right. right. You and you know it. what? And don't feel, don't feel like, oh, you, you're supposed to know everything. No, no. No. Find somebody that can help you and do it. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I wouldn't even expect anyone to work with me if I didn't have a coach and my coach didn't have a coach and we weren't being coached and held accountable by other people. As an entrepreneur, it's a very, very, very lonely island that you can isolate yourself on. Do not do that. There are enough communities yep. out there that you can join and be part of, and they're going to fuel your success. Be around the five people that fuel you the most on a regular basis. So maybe you call them and say, hey, ladies, how about if we just jump on a call for 30 minutes once a week and yep. just hold each other accountable to goals yep. that we're working on? That's free. You yeah. could just create a phone call every week that the five yes. of you jump on. So there are no excuses. We make excuses because they make us feel better of why it didn't happen, but you're only hurting yourself. You don't hurt right. anybody else, just yourself. And God did not put you on this earth to not live out your purpose. And if you're still alive and you're still listening to this, you have not fully lived out your purpose. You're That's still right. here for a reason. Amen, sister. Yeah. So that's awesome. High five. High okay. five. And um, when I come to Arizona the next time, I'm going to come up. We're going to meet. We're going to have yes. some lunch or go see something. Go have an event together or do love something it. fabulous. Yes. I am looking forward to placing all of your um, details in the show notes. Um, I think this is going to be going live in about two weeks. So you're going to have no, you'll have a clip it video all of the fun stuff so that you can share and plan. And I hope that it coincides around the same time that you're going to be launching your group. Yeah, that would be that's, awesome. Thank you so that's much. Awesome. You are amazing. Amazing, my darling. I am so, so glad that we connected. Ditto for you. You know, when you meet your soul sister like this and someone that's just as passionate as you, don't just dismiss them. Keep them yep. close. Keep them in your circle. Stay connected with them because they're going to open doors for you. You're going to open doors for them. And that's how collaboration works. They're never the competition. Remember yep. that. They're not. You got it. Yeah. Thanks, my darling. Thanks, Kylie. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us with the Entrepreneur's Hangout. If you love us, Come join us on Facebook with Entrepreneurs Hangout Facebook group. It's where entrepreneurs go to collaborate and grow.